get another apartment, because we can. We actually got a lot of money coming in this mission. I say that now. It's probably going to start dropping. It's an How did we lose workers here at the marketplace? Holy crap, we are having a serious worker short. People are just leaving their jobs. That's the problem. I don't know where these people are going, what they think they're doing, but... We can't be having this shit anymore. Like, if you're, you're, a, you're a teacher, you're essential to the country. When I hire you, you should be morally obligated. No, not even morally. Legally obligated to stay in that school and teach. Like, if you leave, you get shot. Because I'm telling you, we need more fucking students. We can't be having this. In fact, I'm filling this place out. You can go fuck yourselves. I'm filling that place out, and we're going to get as many fucking students out of the, into the workforce as possible. Because right now, it's actually a problem. It's actually a problem. We have too many jobs, which, to be fair, I mean, it could be worse. You know, too many jobs is kind of a redundant complaint, really. All right, so now we just gotta attract the wealthy tourists, which, of course, are going, which you know, is totally not going to be hard at all. Okay, I can build like a cruise ship. I mean that. Well, it costs twenty thousand. That's pretty hefty, expensive. But you know, I think it it would look good like right over here. So we'll build we'll build a cruise ship like right here. It's pretty expensive, but I think I think people I think people can actually stay on it. Like I think they live on the ship, and all the wealthy tourists can move in here, which is you know a typical rich thing to do. Let's just stay on the cru instead of like staying on the island. Let's just stay slightly off the shores on a cruise ship. You know, that's a typical rich thing to do, right? In fact, isn't there, like, a fucking... I, I think I read this somewhere. Isn't there a cruise ship in real life that uh, really, really wealthy people um, can pay to live on? That they can actually live on the cruise ship and it sails around the world going place to place to place every other day? Because if that's a thing, that's actually something interesting. I mean, I mean, it does come with its downsides, I will admit. Obvious ones. You get to see the world, but you don't get to use the internet. And let's be honest, if you can't use the internet, what's the point of seeing the world? I mean, you can do the exact same thing on the internet, right? You know, take a virtual tour and all? I mean, it's obviously the same. Actually, that's an interesting question. If you were given the opportunity to live on a cruise liner boat uh, that goes around the world Ready forever for free, but you'll never have access to good internet connection again, which means that you can't play online gaming anymore, or, you know, use YouTube and watch me anymore, or do anything anymore, would you still do it? Would you still get on the cruise knowing for a fact that 90% of your days will be spent without an internet connection? Would you do it? Because we all know, I mean, I think it actually is possible to get internet connection on a cruise ship, but it's probably, like, really fucking expensive. I've never been on a cruise, by the way. I'm just going to openly say that right now. Sir, I've never uh, been on a fucking cruise, but I'm pretty sure you can get internet connection. But it's shore. probably really crappy. Probably, like, really ultra-crappy Wi-Fi. Oh, shit. Well, here comes the tsunami. Luckily, it's striking the wrong side of the island, so we should be fine. We lost a building. Which building did we lose? Jeez. I don't think we lost anything. Also, my camera angle got fucked by that. Uh, we lost the garage. I'm gonna get that back up. So, is the luxury liner a hotel, or is it actually a, um, a thing that you have to... Yeah, it looks like it just... It actually looks like it has an entry fee. Okay, so that makes sense. Jesus, it's kind of weird. You think a luxury liner would be like a hotel or something? Fine, I'm gonna unlock the hotel because I, can't, I just can't stand that kind of crap anymore. We'll start building them along this road here. I'm sure they'll really appreciate it, and that'll bring in more people. And then we should actually probably build a few lo more luxury attractions since we're doing this. Can we actually squeeze this in here? Because if we could, that'd be fantastic. I don't think we can though. Well, here. Nope. I mean, I could squeeze them in somewhere else. I just don't feel like it now. I mean, they actually are not that expensive. That's like, what, $5,000? That's not too bad. We could do a marina. That'd be kind of cool. I don't think we've ever done a marina. Oh, where should we put it? Fine, we'll squeeze it in, like, right here. 
And we'll do that. Since we've never done a marina, we might as well. We'll have a marina over here, right by the docks. That way everyone can bring their yachts in and, you know, go out to the ocean. Because obviously we have tons of people here with yachts right now. Very well, President. Ooh. It is time to track down the first spy. Okay. I think we could do that. We need to build some radio towers, apparently, or radar dishes. Oh, uh, yes, the llama flu epidemic was a con. Good to know. We're going to wait for our money to build up before we do anything, though, because that actually did cost us a hefty sum. What is the rebel threat looking like right now? Only two rebels. we got seven soldiers. We're holding our own pretty well. I don't think they're going to be much of a problem much longer. I'm, gonna, I'm really interested how the workers are going to reach this platform. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. Only one guy in the souvenir shop. That's unacceptable. You should be selling more. Is it because we're selling t-shirts? What about arts and craft? Uh, I think t-shirts will work. I mean, we, we have way like more president. poor people than yeah, we have rich people on the needed. island. There should be no need for fraud. I think we got this. 86% of the vote. That's pretty good. One day I'm going to get so used to pressing there's no need for fraud that it's going to be at like Oh, you have a 20% chance of winning. I'm like, yeah, it's good odds. And I click it, and then we're fucked. You have won the elections. People are content. One day it's going to happen, I'm telling you. One day, inevitably, in the inv inevitable and in inevitably long future, it will happen. Mark my words. In fact, I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. It might not happen while we're recording, but it will happen one day. It will. It's inevitable. Oh boy, here comes some more tourists. Do we even have the next hotel up yet? Yes, we do, so they should actually be staying in this one. And they are, well, some of them are. Now it's more open. Now we can get more tourists to move in in the next shipment. So it, it kind of it does have a little tonight? bit more space than the regular building, which I guess is okay. I was kind of expecting a little bit more. It's really weird that uh, this place has the garage. I think that's kind of really weird, actually. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but still, you gotta admit, it's kind of fucked up. Because you have to have the back of the building facing the streets at all times, which is really actually kind of annoying. Alright, those radar dishes, let's get them up. I think it's time. And then we can unlock them and start building them. Uh, where should we put them? Radar dishes. So what would be a nice place to put them? I mean, I guess we could just put them here behind Macho's palace. I'm sure no one will notice that. Well, I think we only need three, so we'll just place all three down. There we go. Now, we'll let them build that up in... Oh no, our interior minister is already dead. Holy crap. And now we don't have any other interior ministers to choose from. Do we only have one police officer? No, apparently he was the only police officer qualified enough to be an interior minister. Alright, let's take a look at you guys. Exceptional intelligence. Um, uh, I'll go with you. You seem okay. Just for a minister of the economy, we need someone with good... Uh, you're pretty much the best at everything. We'll go with you. What about defense? Good courage. Oh, we really want good everything. But, you know, you. I guess you work. We'll go with you. And those two we have to actually hire people for, so that ain't fucking happening. Yellow Magazine. With all those wealthy tourists coming to the island. Yeah, let's start a Yellow Magazine about their lives. People the love to read dirt about wealthy and famous people. Oh, great. Okay, fine. Let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do. Ah, uh, yes. The marina is coming up, and soon our yellow magazines will have a, a setting to take place in, because let's be honest, they're going to flock to this thing. Look, they're already putting their yachts out there. They're already putting the yachts out there. All fucking ready. Okay. Well, 
Unfortunately, something just came up, so I'm going to actually have to leave it here, guys. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I've been Uh-Oh, and I'll see you next time.